Am I the a-hole stories? Am I the a-hole for refusing to attend my sister-in-law's public apology after she lied about my son? I, female 35, have a 37-year-old brother. He's married with two kids, but my sister-in-law and I never been on good terms. She's always been disrespectful towards me. It affected my closeness with my brother and my relationship with him, although he'd apologize for her behavior and agree she's in the wrong. Some of the things she's done aside from the hurtful comments were that, she wore inappropriate clothes at my husband's funeral, took selfies, then went to welcome her friends who didn't even know my husband. She made it all about her. She suggested that I put my six-year-old sick son, he had a heart condition, up for adoption, since single mothers have lower chances at meeting someone. She announced her pregnancy at the hospital where my son was admitted. So, I've distanced myself from her. Three weeks ago, Monday morning, the night before, my son was having a surgery and it was done at 8 a.m. She posted that my son passed away at 9 a.m. on Facebook after she tried to call me, causing my entire family to freak out, and I heard this from them after my sister called me and was crying. I informed them my son was fine, then I found out my sister-in-law did this on purpose while my brother was out of town. He packed his bags and left their house after he berated her. She said she thought he was dead after I refused to take her call. I was devastated. I had people calling to extend their condolences. My brother called me days later and he was crying. He kept saying he was sorry for the hurt his wife caused me, and that he wanted to come see me but was too ashamed to look me in the eyes. Later my parents came to see me, saying my brother left his home after a huge argument with his wife, and they were worried for the kid's future since my brother said that he's willing to work things out in therapy with his wife, but she needed to apologize to me first. Otherwise, their marriage won't be able to move on said he swore up and down that he won't stay in the same house as my sister-in-law or speak to her until she apologizes publicly. I told them I don't want to see her, but they argued saying they don't want for this issue to get more complicated and that their grandkids deserve a stable home, not their parents divorcing especially since my sister-in-law is pregnant. I refused, and I lashed out at them saying I won't come to her public apology after they suggested a time and place. They said my resentment and stubbornness will be the reason why my niece and nephew will suffer but I still refused. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. She publicly announces your son's death. You owe that sociopath nothing. Your brother needs to run away, lawyer up, show her for what she is to a judge, get custody, and protect his kids from this venomous creature. He sounds like a decent human. Help him, support him and work together. Your parents are delusional for wanting their grandkids to grow up with this sociopath for a mother. Again. And I can't stress that enough, nobody in their right mind announces the death of someone else's child. It's malicious, callous, irresponsible, and downright crazy. She lied about the son's death. It is one thing to announce it first, it is another level of crazy to lie about the death of a child. Seriously. No sane person jumps from OP didn't answer the phone on the first try, to OP's son must be dead, and then too, I should post to FB that the son died. That's just so many levels of insanity. Come to think of it, my mom didn't answer her phone yesterday. At least if brother takes the kid's sister-in-law will be a better catch on the dating market not being a single mom. Not the a-hole. She said your son was dead. While he was in surgery. Because you did not take her call. Again. While he was in surgery. Screw her. I hope she gets over herself, or her kids are going to wind up that way too also told her to abandon him because he's sick, and it'll make it harder to date. I feel like, abandon your child so you can get some D is actually worse. Your parents want you to attend a public apology by a horrible human being so your brother won't divorce her? What the hell is wrong with your parents? If they don't want their son to divorce his wife, then they should be pressuring him to go home. Protect your son and yourself. Tell the crazy people to leave you alone. Not the a-hole. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for refusing to apologize? My boyfriend and I have been together for two years. Recently, he asked me to move in his apartment because 1. He didn't like that I paid my mom rent to live in her home, 2. So we can save up for a house. My boyfriend is very close to his twin brother, Mark. Mark doesn't have a driver's permit, is 32 and lives with his parents, and the only reason he has a job is because he begged my boyfriend's business partner for 1. Over the last year when I wasn't living there, my boyfriend's brother would come over during the day and completely mess up the house. The day after the maid came, the kitchen would have rotting food everywhere, 
he would smoke hash in the apartment, he refused to let our puppy out. The first thing he does when he comes over is look in the fridge. He cooks wasteful amounts of food and leaves it to rot. He always uses everything in the fridge and makes himself family-sized meals for himself. Forget about cleaning up after himself, he just refuses to do it. I did all our groceries Friday and I was planning on pre-cooking on Sunday. Friday, I burned myself with hot water and I have second degree burns all over my forearm. I called my boyfriend twice on FaceTime to let him know I'm in the ER. On the second call, Mark picks up and says stop FaceTiming him, and hangs up on me while I'm crying hysterically in the hospital alone. Saturday, I was with my family all day. I came home and Mark is sitting on the couch smoking. The piles of dishes in the sink, pasta sauce on the walls, ground beef all over the floor. I go to put away something in the fridge, it's empty besides what he left of the rest of the ground beef uncovered in the fridge, put back all the cheeses I bought in the back of the fridge unwrapped. The house smelt of hash, and there was garbage on the coffee table. I was so upset I said, really Mark? I bought all this food for the week and now it's all gone? Hell broke loose, he got up and threw his plate of pasta on the walls, and left the house without cleaning any of the mess he made. As he was leaving, he called me a witch, and he said he hopes my whole family dies. My boyfriend and I got into a heated argument because he says I shouldn't witch at him about food cause we can afford loads of it, and why his brother was upset was because I made him look cheap. I told him it wasn't about the food, it's about the principle of coming over and destroying the house, being wasteful, and that I'm sick and fed up with it. My boyfriend demanded that I apologize to Mark for making him feel cheap. I refuse to apologize to Mark because he's constantly pushed all boundaries and is a complete slob. I told my boyfriend I would apologize when Mark apologized for taking advantage of me for cleaning up all the time, and for calling me a witch and hoping my family to death. Am I the a-hole for refusing to apologize to my boyfriend's brother? Your boyfriend's brother threw a plate of pasta against a wall. That's what is known as the last straw, and he is no longer welcome in your house. If your boyfriend refuses to enforce this, move back in with mom. Then ex-boyfriend and his twin can smoke hash and throw pasta all day long. Not the a-hole. It's funny because my boyfriend doesn't smoke or drink. The fight is over and done with because my boyfriend read the texts between my mom, sister and best friend about how Mark has zero boundaries, and he realized that I had every right to be upset. What has he done about it? Is Mark banned from your home? Mark is banned from our home currently because I forced my boyfriend to have the conversation of, yes, this was your place first but you invited me to live with you which makes this our home. I posted this to see if I was the a-hole, but the situation happened two days ago. Not the a-hole, but I would question the relationship. Why would you want to be with someone who doesn't defend you? And puts others before you? Break up with him because it's only going to get worse later down the line. I would also advise to record and document everything, and as last resort, restraining order. Not the a-hole. Mark is an a-hole and so is your boyfriend for defending him. He's showing you what he thinks your future will be, cheerfully gliding around after his brother cleaning up his mess, and never challenging his behavior or expecting either of their support. You do not deserve this treatment. The red flags are flying. Please consider leaving, or at the very least moving back in with your parents. Next story. Am I the a-hole for choosing my fish over my sister and parents? My parents were not nice to me growing up. They fed me and gave me a roof over my head, but that's about it. I had a lizard when I was a teen, and they said that I wasn't helping to do my sister's homework since she was failing her classes, so they literally threw my lizard away, and that's the main reason I can't stand them. Anyways, when I became 18, I moved out and went no contact. I am now in my late 20s and engaged, but my husband slash long term fiancé and I have a lot of aquariums in our house and have our entire basement dedicated to fish, and we are in the middle of building a pond. My sister was a brat growing up, so I don't talk to her as well but maybe the occasional happy birthday, merry christmas or check up on her, but that's it. My sister got divorced, she married at 17, and then moved back in with our parents but they are having a hard time paying the bills because of covid and an extra mouth to feed. My parents quit their jobs to deal with her and want to move into my home. I told them to shove it after what they did to my lizard, and that they can be homeless for all I care. I posted progress of my pond and aquariums on Facebook, and my sister called me and said I was so selfish to put their lives above mine, and that I am flaunting my wealth, and my mom said she gave birth to me and that I am spoiled. Technically, we could rehome the fish so they could live here since the basement has two bedrooms with bathrooms, 
but they are filled with fish and I think that is too much hassle for two family members I don't even like. My husband said the homeless comment was too far. Am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. When a parent uses I gave birth to you as their argument, it's irrefutable proof that they don't have an argument. It's the, I'm your manager of parenting. Agreed. And fish generally aren't a-holes, so OP's choice is solid. Edit, turns out plenty of fish are in fact, a-holes. Standing by OP's choice regardless. Not the a-hole. Honestly at this point, I don't think it's you putting the fish above them. It's you putting your mental health first, and they can't stand to admit slash acknowledge that they're the ones that caused the anguish in the first place. It's not your responsibility to save them, they're adults, they can all get jobs and support themselves, but are choosing not to and expecting you to pick up the slack. Also, you're not flaunting your wealth, unless you are, and even then who cares, be proud of your success, you're displaying something you've worked hard on that you're clearly proud of, and all they can do is put you down for it. I wouldn't allow them in my house either. Yep, even if you didn't have the fish, you would be within your rights to set a boundary and refuse to let them live with you. Not the a-hole. Not the a-hole. Why would your parents find it necessary to quit their jobs because their adult daughter got a divorce and moved back in with them? Their income took a hit due to COVID, so the natural response was to quit their jobs? Something doesn't seem to add up there. You are not obligated to have them in your home. Go back to no contact. They favor her a lot, but basically my aunt told me that my mom said she wanted to stay home to cook and take care of her, since my sister does not know how to. Then my mom complained about having no help at home, so she told my dad to quit and use savings. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for telling my daughter it's her fault she has no pictures of herself? Okay, so I, 54 female, have 5 kids, 3 bio and 2 step. The issue with is with my eldest, Clem who is 26 female. The only pictures I have of Clem are from the day she was born to around her 8th birthday, but none after that. She would ruin any picture she was in by making funny faces, hiding from the camera, making weird signs with her hands, or by messing with other people. It was like this until she was 12 when she started to straight up refuse. We would tell her to come for the family photo, but she would refuse. We never forced her, but would gently encourage her. She even refused school pictures. I have no pictures of birthdays, graduations, prom photos, holidays or days out with her in them. It broke my heart because I don't have any pictures of her growing up. Family photos look odd, because she's not in them. Clem is 26 now and is pregnant with her first child. She brought her significant other over for dinner, and after, we were looking at photo albums. We got to hers, and she saw hers was nearly empty. She asked were all her pictures? That's when I told her she refused to have any taken. She got all teary-eyed and told me to stop joking. At this point, I'm very annoyed, I tell her I'm not joking and that she did this to herself. I told her if she had swallowed her pride and had even one picture, we wouldn't be like this today. She got angry and thought I had printed out the ones she had messed up. She got super upset and went to sit in the car. The next say, today, I got a few texts from family members calling me an a-hole for putting her on blast and humiliating her. Am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. But why not just give her the old negatives that you did not print? so that she can see for herself. That's a good idea. They're on my computer, so it's not like I deleted all the photos of her. The issue was that, she made some rude gestures or poses in many of them, which I am obviously not comfortable putting on the wall. She does know that she messed up pictures with her gestures and poses, and she obviously can't forget about her aversion to cameras, so I don't know why she was so surprised. I think it would be a nice gesture if you made her a little album of all of them, even if they're ridiculous. It's not that there are no pictures, it's that there are no traditionally nice pictures. They still show her at various ages and show how she was. I was the same way growing up and also have very few. The ones that exist are silly, but I love them. I agree. I'll do that. Info, how is this just now coming up? Are you saying that there are family photos hanging in your home that do not include your daughter? Is she really just looking at this photo album for the first time at 26 years old? Are you saying that there are family photos hanging in your home that do not include your daughter? Yes. None of the family photos include my daughter, unless they were taken before she turned 8. Is she really just looking at this photo album for the first time at 26 years old? Yes and no. We would bring them out at Christmas and stuff, but she would always cringe, say she didn't want nor care, 
and went to her room. I've told her previously that her album is pretty scarce, but I guess she wasn't aware to the scale. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.